Um, you, you know, sometimes you know you ask to give words of uh, encouragement for whatever it might be. But let me say this right here: God is a good God. God is a graceful God. Uh, this morning or this evening, I'm here to give some words of expression uh, and talk about the life of Mr. Clemson. Uh, I met this man some years ago, and the first time I met him, I mean, I, I just fell in love with, with him as a person. And through the years that I've known him, he has been a very just truthful, honest person that, that, that always, you know, shine light on a bad moment. You know, so I said to this family, you know, God is a good God and always going to be a good God. Don't despair. Look to the hills. Because at the end of the day, there is a light. And through God, everything is possible. Mr. Clinton's life, he shown and dealt with a lot of things from his job as being Marines, as being as far as with JPD as a reserve officer, but even being at the county uh, as a sheriff deputy. That says an uh, example for anyone, any young person. You know, you live, you live, and you do and you honor, and you be honored by people. And Mr. Clinton did that. So I said to his family, hold, don't cry, pray. Because at the end of the day, God has control of everything. My name is Sergeant Neal, Sammy Neal. Uh, I'm with the Jackson Police Department Agent Investigation. I've been there almost 30 years. And uh, I'm a lifelong uh, law enforcement officer, just like Mr. Clancy was. And I say this right here. One thing that uh, Mr. Clancy inspired me to do, and, and, and to say this right here, he was a Marine, that's hurrah, simplify. And that's to the end. Amen. This is Lorenzo Clancy III from Houston, Texas. Um, remember I had a, my daddy that really sticks out in my head is when my sister Michelle got me in trouble by my dad. He told us not to go somewhere in Jackson, Mississippi. And my sister Roche went over there, had an accident, and now we gotta tell him where we was at. <laughs> we both, I'm thinking I'm good. I'm rubbing up my sister Michelle. Michelle, it's gonna be okay. Got back to the house, we both got a beating. And I don't know what I did, but that's, the remem that's one memory of many that I had with my dad, so. Um, proud moment, I have many proud moments with my dad. I mean, like I said, I wasn't raised here in Jackson, so, but he always gave me encouraging words, and if I needed anything, I'd call him, and um, he would tell me, he would work me through it, whatever I'm going through, what, from Houston, Texas, he would work me through it, so. I mean, he gonna be missed, dearly, dearly missed. Uh, Lorenzo Clancy IV, Atlanta, Georgia. I am the son to, of course, Lorenzo Clancy Jr. Um, if I had to share some of my fondest memories with my father, it always comes to, uh, to mind. Never forget was in Japan. And I used to like to sniff bubble gum, so I decided to take some one time. And uh, my dad found out that I had taken the gum, and he calls me in the room one night, and he was just like, hey, son, you, you, you want some gum? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, dad, of course, as a child would. And he started feeding me the hubba bubba. He had like a, a 20 pack of it. And he gave me one. I was chewing it, having a good time, playing with some toys. He gave me another one. And long before I knew it, my jaws was just all like this. And uh, the reason I think that this is a very special memory to me, because to this day, I don't even eat sweets. So, before, when the last time I saw him, I remember telling him, he was the strongest man I knew. And I remember telling him thank you for everything that he had done for me. A lot of times I never knew why he was so hard on me, but it made me the man that I am right now to this day. 
I know deep down inside that you don't even want to see me like this because you always tell me, boy, don't nobody want to hear that whine and stuff. <laughs> but that I know you're in a better place. I know you're overlooking me right now, <laughs> laughing about the bubble gum. <laughs> but I said that you're the strongest man I know. I love you very much. And remember always, always that simplify until we meet again. Hi, family. I'm Smeedy. I'm Lorenzo's sister, one of many. This is Treasure, Lorenzo's niece. This is Angela, my best friend. I want to talk about my brother. Some of you know him as Bubble. A lot of you do not know it's not supposed to be Bubble. It actually is supposed to be Big Brother, but we went on with Bubba because our brother Henry could not say Big Brother. Would I give up anything to have all my siblings back? No question about it. Would I give up the moments that I had with him on the day he passed? I would never give it up. I wouldn't exchange it for nothing in the world. Do I miss him? I miss him dearly. I will forever love my brother, and I want to thank everyone that's been a part of our life and loved us and loved him from the depths of our heart. My mom is not here, she went home. And as most of you should know, a mother's love never stopped with her kids. I'm gonna stop, cause I can go on and on. I'm gonna let my baby talk, and I'm gonna let Angela talk. Um, I just wanna say, I appreciate how much he, I don't wanna say fussed at me, but I appreciate him for fussing at me because it motivated me to do better. It made me feel good that I was making him proud. I appreciated the laughs, the uh, thoughts, the encouragement words that he would say to us. I appreciated the uh, off the wall jokes, but <laughs> truth at the same time. He had his way of doing stuff because he was, uh, of course, military driven. But overall, a lot of stuff that he left as a legacy will move yes. on, will go on. And uh, for that, we appreciate just being in his life at that time. Okay, I'm gonna piggyback on that. <laughs> My brother left home at 17. My mother didn't have him as long as most moms had their kids. So he actually stayed gone 40, I'm gonna say 42 years. Busted us as if he never <laughs> left. I was always sis or sissy. Mm -hmm. Sis, is you locked in out there? I'm gonna miss those texts. I'm gonna miss. Get up, drive slow. Them deers running fast. They in a rut. <laughs> <laughs> the deers in a rut. Uh, I know you. I know your daddy. You drive like your daddy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we yeah. got a lot of people that love us. Yes. You had to love him. He deserved respect. He earned his respect. He respected you. That's right. We love you all. Thank what? you. Love Thank you, Uncle Big Dog. <laughs> See you later. Right, Thank you. Catricia, I'm the niece. Um, I wanted to say that I really enjoyed my life with you. And all the memories that we have, it would never go away. And I want to tell you that I love you. So do my family, or the rest of the family, but this right here, if you was my big bad wolf, <laughs> you made sure everybody was in line, no matter who they was and whatever what happened. You made sure everything was great. And I just wanted to tell you that I loved you so much. I see you later on in life. Once they will meet again. I love you. Hello, everyone. I'm um, Dallas Lawrence Clancy. I am my father's baby son. I'm the last one, I'm the youngest. Um, man, my dad is just... I've always remembered him to be strong. Like, he was always just so strong. Like I always looked up and admired him for being so strong. I remember like I 
You just saw this a lot. It's a lot. Uh-huh. He was just, like I say, man, that man was strong. The strongest dude I ever know, I've ever knew. And more than likely, probably ever will know. I will say, um, personally, I know that I did. Um, I got his work ethic from him, man. I, I just worked so much that, like, man, I work just like you. I guess I got it from you. I, I work too much, actually. Same way. Same way you did, same way like you. And I love you. And I miss you. I wish we could have made more memories together. But it's okay. I love you, Dad. Hello. I am Lorenzo Clancy's junior um, son. My name is Alonzo Clancy. Um, Lorenzo was, um, he was of course my father. I remember um, coming down here to Jackson State so I could get closer with him because uh, we didn't get close uh, because of the previous things happened with my, with my mother and him. So I came down here so I could get closer to him. And of course, um, we had we shared a little time together one night, but I didn't get close to him like I wanted to. So um, of course, we talked on the phone and laughed, and he helped me get a car and stuff like that. And also, I remember him um, telling me, you got to work hard. You know, you need to do this, you need to do that, and telling me what I need to do, and I need to graduate, you know, stuff like that. So of course, um, I finished graduation, and I remember telling him that I was finished, and you know, I was going to get a job and work hard as him. And um, I remember also him being a great father, or hearing the stories him of him being a great father and great husband to my brothers and my mother. And um, I'm just glad to be here to see, you know, everything as far as. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. It's just a lot, but I'm just glad to be here, and um, I just hope that he rests well, and I'm gonna continue to be strong for him, and um, be the best son that I can be. Thank you. My name Belinda Clancy. I'm Lorenzo's baby sister. Uh, the memories that I remember was good that me and my brother had when I was in the ninth grade. I got kicked out of high school. My brother was already gone to the military. But for some reason, God let him came home and it was time for us to leave Pinewood School because I had to go to Pinewood School to keep up with my class, to keep from flunking. My brother came, my mom and dad, something my brother surprised me. He came down there and got me from Pinewood School. I remember the car was a Grand Prix. It was gray with T-tops. I thought I was the coolest little chick there was. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sandra White. I've been knowing Lorenzo for a long time. And what he did was service. He loved helping people. And I remember um, he was telling me about his, his cousin that lived in Clinton, uh, Mississippi. Um, he said he got a call early one morning from her and she was saying, come, I need you right now. And she, her house had caught on fire like a couple years prior. So he said he rushed, he said he didn't have anything on but his underwear and, his, and, and no shoes. So he ran to just try to see what was going on because he thought maybe her house was on fire again. So as soon as he got there, she was standing there saying, shh. And she was standing there with a hammer in her hand, and she said, one for you and one for me. He said, what? It was a possum, y'all, two possums. He said, I know good and well, you ain't called me down here to kill no nasty blank, 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 po 
possum. So I'm gonna remember him, you know, the story. I can't say the words that he used, but I will always remember Clancy because he's always was a kind, loving person that loved his family. He loved his children so much. And that's what we will talk about a lot about his family, his children. And God bless you all. Y'all hold your head up and push on and be strong for your father because that's what he will want you to do. Hey, we're attorneys. This is John Fike, Kate Ike, Anders Farrington. We loved Clancy. We knew him when he was the bailiff down with Dwayne Thomas. And he was just the straight up great guy. I would always go over there and get some pork rinds from him because <laughs> <laughs> that's what he'd always be. The man didn't eat fruit. He had pork rinds, fried pork rinds. This is great. One day I'm up there and he, and he says, hey, let me get in the car with you and I've got to go out here and get a spare tire for my neighbor. So we go out to Rankin County to a junkyard of all places and I'm driving him around and we we must have spent two hours because I said, what in the hell are you doing, Clint? He said, well, my neighbor, they stole her tire off of it and I've got to get her a tire for this thing. And, and I'm going like, but he was just, he was such a genuine person and stuff. But he, he also went in my car too. <laughs> he, he didn't offer to go in his truck, you know. So, but I was going like, what the hell? He was going, come on, get in it. And I'm going like, anyway. But I've really thought a lot of Clancy. He was, he was a great guy. And I'm telling you what, there was no cutting up in his courtroom. He was straight up. And, and you, I didn't have any problem. You know, if you had a little problem in court, you just go over there and say, hey, Clancy, watch him. And, I got this, man. <laughs> it was great. Clancy always took great care of me whenever I came in, regardless of where I was on the docket. He would say, Miss Kate, what have you got? I'm gonna see if I can't get you to the top of the list because you need to go back to work. And he did the best he could. And he always took good care of me. And whenever there was a ruckus, he shut it down. He even walked me out the front door into my car several times because of contested matters. Not a lot of people would do that, but mm -hmm. he, he was lovely. I enjoyed him. And I would say, you know, he did for me a little cutting up because you couldn't have papers in the courtroom. You couldn't read the newspaper, but he did. And judge wasn't going to say anything, but he would cut out the crossword puzzle for me <laughs> so I could do it while I was bored and put it <laughs> in my binder so no one could see it because you know he he took care of everyone he got bored sometimes yeah. too was, he was, yeah. we loved him he, he was a paper him. reader he read the paper <laughs> he yeah, did. Like every that. day yeah and, and the the people who just got arrested he, he said look at this stupid son bitch right here who got arrested <laughs> you know, and those things. He, he had a little potty mouth on occasion <laughs> to explain things. Yeah, what were they thinking, you know? They, 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 anyway, but anyway, we, we really we enjoyed Clancy. Yeah, he was, he was a great guy. So you know gone. what? Heaven's a better place for it, yeah. frankly. We're missing out. Yeah. Our loss. It is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for giving us the opportunity. My name is Paul Johnson, and... Um, I've been a uh, in-law in the family for years. Uh, Lorenzo was married to my sister, and uh, I want to say that uh, through all the years that we were members of the same family, we were very close, and we always had uh, a deep bond together. That something that we could remember forever. Uh, my. Uh, as anybody can see me now, my hair is white, <laughs> but it used to be black. <laughs> I've been here a while, and uh, we've been knowing each other for that long, and I'm deeply sad. Hello, my name is Alpha Elaine Roach Slaughter. I'm Carolyn's niece and Kay's auntie. So I would just like to say I've been knowing Lorenzo a long time. I remember when they met. I remember when they got married. And I was just there through a long 
turmoil of things. They was in Japan, and Carolyn would call, we would talk, and we, as the children were born, we, we had plenty good times together. And he, I had twins when he came back, and he was their mentor. He uh, was always telling them things to do. So since then, I've married my husband, Mr. Slaughter, Steve Slaughter, and so goes. My in. name is Steve Slaughter. Like she said, this is my wife. And, and I met Lorenzo through her of uh, one day at the fair. <laughs> we were walking around through the fair and she ran and said, Lorenzo? And then she introduced us to, uh, to each other. Since then, I met Lorenzo, I, uh, other wives, so I'm Lorenzo Plummer, really. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I do, I do, I was doing all this plumbing work and everything. Me and him became real close and everything. Mm -hmm. So everything, he had, every time he had a problem, he'll call me, and then we hung out sometime together. So I'm gonna miss him and everything. So I met him through two families, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and yeah. that's, that's about all that. I'm and I to like to say I'm gonna really miss him. My twins called and they were sad and they couldn't be here, but they're a truck driver, so they're out of time. Mm -hmm. And we love him. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank that's you very well. <laughs> uh, my name is Floyd. Everybody knows me as Floyd. And uh, growed up with Bubba. We called him Bubba. Over on uh, Illinois Avenue and uh, Pleasant Avenue. Uh, worked with him with the county. I worked for the Board of Supervisors. Right now, you all know the Bubba was a Hines County uh, sheriff. And uh, been knowing him all my life. Me and him and Kenny Bogan, Mickey, we're all from the same area. I'm gonna miss Bubba. My name is Lula Dunlap. I'm, I'm a regional Lula May Clancy. I don't like being called that. But Lorenzo had the way of busting us out of, should I say, not just from a childhood, but I had he said, oh, sis, I forgot you don't joke. And uh, anytime I seen him, he always said, come in, little sis, let me give you a hug. And just looking back, the last time I seen him, he was down at the county courthouse when I came in to go get my tag. My brother always had a smile. And we always met each other with a smile. And uh, a lot of people say I'm just like him, but they say I'm a little bit more mean because I told her mama I was gonna shoot her. She didn't tell me who she was at the door. <laughs> She was knocking on the door. She said, Lorenzo sent her over there. And, but I didn't hear her say anything. And when she came and she said, I said, you gonna either tell me who you is? I said, I don't hear nobody. I said, let me cock this girl. <laughs> and uh, she went back home and she told Lorenzo, she said, Lume, just like you, Lorenzo. <laughs> uh -oh. Not gonna shoot anybody, but I did love my brother. I love his children. We just about loved everything about him, even though sometimes he wasn't doing right, but we still do. But we, we are family. We try to stick together, and we've been together since small true. And I can't say that he stayed over in this house and we stayed over in that house. Because Lorenzo came and lived with us, him and Willie May and LC. LC is Lawrence Clancy. Now I got one brother left. It ain't never been no half brother. It always been my brother. And to see him that way, he wasn't supposed to leave out of here like that. To me, he wasn't supposed to leave here like that. He, he just, and everybody went to the hospital to go meet him. The last time he was at the hospital at Real Oaks and they said, okay, he, he done came out the hospital, he going over here, he going to hospice. Okay, he going to hospice. Come on now. We didn't know he was that sick. Lorenzo don't tell people that he's sick. He don't even like for people to even come to the hospital to see him. But he never stopped anybody from hugging or smiling or laughing. 
but he will tell you in a heartbeat. It's bullshit. I, I ain't doing that. He'll do that in a heartbeat. But remember my family. I don't want to remember him laying there. I want to really remember him the last time I seen him. And that was the smile on his face. And this time when he left it, they told me he didn't have a smile on his face. He said his fist was clenched hard. That wasn't good to me. But that's one thing I have to say other than I love all y'all. And I mean that from my heart. Y'all still missing one sister, Kay. They said they can't get in touch with her, so I don't know what's going on with that. But if I had a new, a little bit ahead of time, I could have went by her uncle's house and told her that she needed to know that her dad is gone. Now that's gonna be a rough pill to squalor whatever she do for now. I'm good. Hi, my name is Carolyn Clancy. I'm the wife of Lorenza Clancy. And these are great memories that we shared. First of all, I'd like to say that we both desire to have kids and we had five that we loved very much and was very uh, crazy about and still love. And we have first is Michelle, second is Carenza, third, Lorenza, fourth was Alonzo, and fifth is Dallas, whom Lorenza named after the Dallas Cowboys. He was a great fan of the Dallas Cowboys, so we, let, we had our last child to be named Dallas. And we had such a great time going around the world, sharing different countries and different states. And we all learned to adapt very easily. And he always made sure that we were comfortable, we were enjoyed, and we took, was taken care of very well. Whatever we wanted, it was always whatever we wanted, he made sure that we had it. Um, he was a great father, and he was a great husband. And we was loved, we are loved very much by him. And I still love him as the father of my kids, and he will forever be in my memories and in my heart. And thank you so much. Yes, my name is uh, Ruby Cornelius. Lorenzo Clinton is my brother. He's my big brother. And we shared good times together. And he, I talked to him that Thursday, and uh, he told me how much he loved me and he was coming home. And I was looking forward to that, but the good Lord took him to another home. And he gonna be missed. He always came to see me. When I was in the hospital, he always came to bring me stuff. And he gonna be well missed. And I love my brother Lorenzo Clinton Jr. It's coming from his sister, Ruby Cornelius. And I hope he rests in peace. I just want to start off by saying, Ura Daddy means kill. Wherever you're going, Daddy, blood and guts, nothing else, okay? Um, you and I, we share a brotherhood together, an organization, United States Marine Corps, and I just wanted to tell you that along with that, you inspire me on so many different levels. Always a hard worker, always initiating you know the work always completing the task whenever I ask you any kind of general order you knew them from the beginning of your Marine Corps career all the way till I saw you last Sunday <clears throat> that's impressive daddy and I just want to tell you job well done and I thank you and we love you and I just want to thank everybody who came out to celebrate my dad he was a big personality, always laughing, always making us laugh, the best dirty jokes. I love it. I love it. And that's, that's something I'm always going to take and remember about my dad. And so thank you guys and peace. Have a good night. Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Clancy Hearn. I am the daughter of Lorenza Clancy Jr. 
Um, I worked side by side with my dad at Chancery Court. He's the one that wanted me to be there. I worked there until he retired and I left. One thing I can say is that my dad took care of me and I made it my business to take care of you from the time you left the hospital to the time you took your last breath. We made eye to eye contact and you knew I wasn't ready to release the duties of your daughter, but I did my best and I want you to know that, that I love you.